What up, Houston Astro fans? Um, it's that time of the year where we stress we haven't won the AL West, so we have to figure out what we're gonna do. Um, all right, you're the special ed teacher right now. T what, right. I don't understand. What are we talking about? All right, so there's a, a guy off of uh, Twitter posted named Austin Corey. I'll give him his credit. He put there's 20 different ways that Astros, Arizona, Seattle, Texas can all play out because mm -hmm. all four of these teams are competing for spots, wild card, division, everything. Um, 15 out of the 20 are good for the Astros to make it. Okay. Two two ways we win the division. So first off, Astros win all three against the Diamondbacks. Then the Mariners have to win either three or four games against Texas. Mm -hmm. That would give us the AL West. Rangers then get second. Mariners get third place. Now. If Astros win three, but Texas wins more than – If they go two and games, two, then yeah. – Then Rangers win the AL West. We get second place on it. If Astros win two out of the three, then we still win the second place bid as long as the Mariners don't just lose every game. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as we win – if the Mariners get swept, then we don't make the playoffs. That's, or yeah, not I the AL West. So. We don't win the West. Yeah, yeah. The no, the only play. way we can win the AL West is if Mariners win all four or three. So we just need them to win the – we need to win our series. They need to win this series. Yes. So we're kind of like, all right, Seattle, we beat you, but let's hope you win. Oh, um, you know, we're not – they're not fans of ours right now anyway. So They I hate us right now. Yes. Us. Yeah. I don't give a – fuck yes if you this, hate us the the hector nearest julio bs stuff reminds me of whenever we swept them and we put the picture up of the broom sweeping all their shit from seattle mm -hmm. and they went on and we're like this is so disrespectful that you would do this we just had a great series like bro get the guy it's bro. not bro like the it's problem cool. is is Daris made us look like because he was the aggressor but it was really like if you look at everything, it's like we could have came back and took our shot at you for hitting McCormick, but yeah, we didn't. Hit so if yeah. I just do my shit and then I talk my shit, like how is that not more classy than like beaming this motherfucker in the back? You know what I mean? They beamed, they beamed out Thuve multiple times. The fans cheered. Oh, dude legit was on the ground, like holding his arm and everything. Then, boom, they beamed Chaz in the back with a 99-mile-per-hour mile fastball. They cheered about it, and dude got taken out of the game. And you're complaining about our pitcher walking to your guy, and they're like, I've never seen that before. Okay, and? Yeah. Okay, and? Um, I haven't – I've never seen Jordan hit the ball as far as he does sometimes, and I don't, I'm not, like, sitting there like, oh, damn. Like, I'd crazy. rather our pitcher talk shit to their face than deliberately try and hit their batters. That's where I and, too, he didn't stop to, like, entertain that bullshit. Yeah. Mr. – what's his name? Julio, whatever the fuck your name is. You waited to say something when you got somebody holding you back. You had a lot of balls then. But Naris was like, I ain't worried about you, little boy. And he went right about his business, saying yeah. what the fuck he wanted to. I, I, I'm not going to say I liked it. I don't hate it, though. I was I was telling Caleb about the gym. I was like, we all know Dusty is that guy that he's not going to say nothing at the game. He went on the media. was like, I'm tired of him hitting my guys. It's disrespectful, this and that. All right, Grandpa. I get it. Hector Nears was like, yo, I'm tired of this shit, dog. I, somebody got to be a pit bull on this damn team. We've been saying, who the hell's the dog on this team? Who's the guy that's going to go out there? Hector freaking Nears was like, I got this shit. Mm -hmm. He fired that team up. Maldonado used to be it, but it seems like Maldonado's been getting crucified all the time and everything. Yeah. So it's just like, bro, that's cool with me. All good, bro. The thing is with me is you get these sort of – things that happen with your players doing it because your manager doesn't step in also mm -hmm. and defend your players. We saw this months ago with Ryan Stanek mm -hmm. when he was arguing with the ump and we were like, this is a moment where Dusty should step in. And he did yep. it. And it's like, it was, right, the, it was the fucking ball. Yep. And it, it, at, at the end of the play, it's just like, all right, well, it is what it is. I'm hoping that it, it is something that, you know, sparks this damn team up. Um, I'm with you. 
Yeah. If it even does it a little bit, do that shit again. You can talk <laughs> all the shit you want. No, I, seriously, bro. Yeah. It's like, like we're the fucking top dogs. If we're gonna go out, do it on your shield. Like go out loud. Fuck it. The, my favorite thing was there was a lot of it's a lot of people to hate us as fans also for defending the Astros. But I just feel it's like we're already hated. Yeah. Yeah. Like what people were in the comments like people are getting mad at the Astros organization and the Astro fans, but they're like, we have already hated them for multiple years already. So what are they like now we hate them more? Like, what is the, the point of this? Like it, it's dumb. Like it's a Seattle newscast making a narrative out of stuff that isn't anything. I mean, Oh, Julio's like, I'm not going to talk to Hector Nears again. Okay, bro. You know how many players said they're not going to talk to Altuve again? We don't they're fucking all shit. up there in Seattle on that good weed and their feelings and shit. Yeah. Like, y'all need to calm the fuck down. Turn that Nirvana off. Shit. Nirvana's Got time to feel sorry for y'all. Now, there is possibilities, though, um, of course, if the Astros don't win. Uh-oh. So, say they lose all against Arizona. Because Arizona does need to win to make it in. So, they're mm-hmm. going to be competing, too. Um, if they lose all of them and the Rangers win every game, then the Astros get second place over the Mariners. Okay. So, though, but I'd rather us just win and control our own destiny at this point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because this is the same conversation we had about the Texans last year. Yes. <laughs> it is. If you uh, think about it, there's a way that. It could play out. Say if we get a wild, the wild card spot, right? Mm-hmm. And we yes. win. There's a chance that we would be playing the Rangers in like the ALDS or something. Yes. And I really would like to fuck y'all up in the playoffs. But yeah. the likelihood of them getting to us if we win the division is not very likely. That is very true. Whatever happens, happens. I just think we'll make it. At at this point, with us playing the way we are at home, I mean, we've lost. I I want to say I'm, I'll look at the numbers on another day, but I, I think we've lost like every home Friday game. Um, we're playing there though, right? Yeah, we're playing all in Arizona right now. But I'm saying for playoffs, does it kind of make you want to like? No. I got more shit to worry about on this team than where the fuck we play. To be honest, yeah. With you. So. From what it sounds like right now, um, looking at the playoff, if it stays the way it is as of today, Rangers win the AL West, um, Tampa Bay and the Blue Jays play on the other side. We will play Minnesota in the wild card game with, I believe, Christian Javier pitching. What the fuck did you just say? Yes. <laughs> he's, he's lined up to be the pitcher for... I don't hate that though, to be honest with you. I just fuck around. Like he didn't pit his past couple games have been okay for one go through in the lineup. Yeah, I think yeah. it's him and committee of somebody else behind him, I feel like. I still think it has to be like I would start Rikiti. I would really go I'm telling you, I would have a day where it's like Fromber, Verlander, and then Game three, it'll be JP and Christian, and then game four will be Arkady and Hunter. Yeah. So they're bringing – I know it's – what, we just got Frambert. It's going to be Verlander, JP, and then my guess is they're going to go Hunter and, and Arkady mm-hmm. or Arkady, Hunter. I might even it. say switch that and do that shit like JP and Hunter and then Arkady and Javier. Well, he already said, announced Arizona's pitchers, so it's Verlander, Ooh. JP, because you have to make it first. So yeah, but I mean, it sounds like he's trusting Christian Javier against Minnesota. If that's what you need to, so we'll be. I think Minnesota. you could risk that against Minnesota. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. Be in Minnesota, you know, away from Minute Maid, where it'd probably be a Friday game. So I don't want to be here. Yeah. Um, it's not too. I think you're right, though. I think that Nair shit yesterday is going to help the team. They need something, bro. It is. It's going to spark them up. They're gonna. They're gonna be like, "Hey, we can't be some pussies. We got to go out there and play." 
They at, least, at least the ones that speak Spanish were thinking that. Except yeah. those two over there kissing on each other. It was funny, though, because Darius is so damn big. And seeing your dog kind of just pick him up and was like, all right, that's enough, bro. Like, Dude, your dog fucking owns Seattle. That shit ain't even funny no more. Yeah. He owns real estate there. His home runs were not, like, simple. They were, like, double-decker. He could never go on vacation there after he's done playing. Oh, they hate him. I know they hate him. Like, for a fact, I know they hate him. Like, like I know for a fact they hate him. <laughs> it's like... They, they they comment all the time. I'm surprised that he doesn't get booed more than Altuve does when he's there. It's like back in the day when Peyton Manning was in our division. It's like, fuck, I hate this guy. Yeah, 1,000%. Oh, well, we got three games. I think we could do it. Sweet I think we city. can, too. I'll see a problem with it. It's going to be a stressful but fun next few days. Um, Friday, the series begins. We'll see what happens, Astro fans. Let us know how many wins you think we get. Do we control our own destiny? Oh, rang out. Does this wake the team up? Let's get it. This is where we start. This is where the, the real teams show up and show up. Word. That being said, like and subscribe. Drop some comments down below on what you think. Um, we're going to be here for any playoff games we'll be here doing content for the astros texans rockets so check them all out on our yep. youtube page that being said we out of here houston good luck astros later later how much i'm working for this i swear my dreams are too important